This is a very interesting engine here, this small short stroke mill engine. It's 3 inch bore, has a 4 inch stroke with an 11 inch diameter flywheel, uh, about 2.5 inches wide. It appears to be a very early engine, but it also has some anomalies. It's very short stroke, high speed for the way that the uh, engine is laid out and built. As you can see, there are no bronze crosshead shoes on the crosshead. It's a very heavy built engine, very well made. All the parts seem to be handmade. The bolts are all individually turned with centers, thread cut on the lathe. This engine came from the East Coast several years ago. It has this huge valve chest up on top of the cylinder. Regular type D valve fitted. Huge ports. That's why the uh, steam chest is so wide. The ports are almost as wide as the steam chest uh, inner diameter. This engine breathes extremely well. As you can see, it has some nice gothic type features on it but a very strange looking flywheel has that lovely uh, rocking type valve actuating mechanism but if you look at the valve spindle there's no hinged joint to allow it to uh, to allow straight motion consequently it's up and down up and down as well as back and forth on that this engine came with this plate fitted to it. I've written Hirschhoff Museum twice with no answer, as well as the uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology with no answer. I sent pictures and a very good description of this engine, but no feedback. I doubt this is a Hirschhoff engine. It probably has some kind of a connection. Maybe one of their employees made it as a apprentice piece. Hard to say at this point in time. It's an extremely well made engine. It runs very nicely. I would sure appreciate any information on this engine if anybody um, can shed any light as to its origins. It appears to have had a uh, an attachment here, probably a feed pump of sorts, because if you look at the bottom right there, there's a couple of holes for some sort of a linkage. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the Hirschhoff engine, as I call it, because I have no other name for it. We know pretty much it's probably not a Hirschhoff built engine. If it's not Hirschhoff, what is it? That's what I would like to know. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video and hope it's been of some help to you.